in today's video, we're talking about why you need to stop blaming your ex. Now, this is something I did for so long, and we're also going to talk about what to do instead. What's up, guys? I go by The Conscious Dad. My name is Ethan. I'm a single father to Lincoln Love and have been for three years. If you're wondering what the hell I'm doing with my shirt off in the middle of winter and snow with a toque, cold exposure, trying to get to a point where I can control my internal body temperature to never drop so I can be exposed to cold no matter where I am and what I am and be okay, which is what I'm doing right now. Stop blaming your ex for everything, for the reason why your life is so shitty, for all the things that she's done wrong to you or they've done wrong to you. Now, I get it. I've been there. When, when I first split from my ex, I was the one to leave the relationship. There's a lot of stuff that he blamed her for. I blamed her for all the hurt. I blamed her for all the pain. I blamed her for all the trauma that she caused me. I told me, like I told, I was telling myself a story that she was the one who's messed up and all this kind of stuff. And I just kept on blaming and blaming and blaming and blaming and blaming and blaming and blaming her for the reason why my life was the way it was, for the reason why our relationship was so fucked up, for the reason why it was fucked up for so long. Now, there's a couple of reasons why we blame. We blame because in psychology, there's a triangle. This triangle is called, I'm not sure what it's called, but there's three parts to it. There's the villain, there's the hero, and there's the victim. These are three things that when we're involved in drama, we're playing one of those roles. We're either, we wanna be the hero, we wanna be the savior, we wanna save everyone, or we wanna play the victim and blame everyone. I'm the victim here, I'm the victim here. And I know a lot of single dads like to play the victim that, oh my gosh, poor me, poor me, she fucked me over so bad. Or people like to play the villain, which, they paint other people as, you know? So it's like, for me, it was like my ex was the villain, I was the victim, and someone else could have been the hero. Or those were the two roles that we're navigating in between. And the whole idea is to step out of that goddamn triangle. Step out of painting someone as the victim, painting someone as the villain, or painting someone as a hero. Completely stepping out and taking fucking responsibility for who you are, what you are, and what you've created. That is right, for what you've created. You are responsible for everything. You're, you are the only one that you can control. You cannot control them. And we like to point the finger. We like to say that they fucked us over, that they did something, that my ex-spouse was this way and she was a bitch or she was mean or that she caused me to lose a bunch of money. Well, in what ways have you been a bitch? Have you been mean? Have you been a piss off? Have you screwed her over? In what ways have you done that? And that's where you get to do the work. That's where you get to take a good hard look at the ways in which you're fucking her over and still are or fucking them over and still are. Because when you begin to clean up your mess, when you begin to, begin to take responsibility in all of the ways in which you think they're screwing over you, but you're really screwing over her, when you begin to step in and take responsibility for those and stop doing that, your whole relationship with her will change. That's what happened with my ex. When I began to take responsibility for all the ways in which I shirked the responsibility in the relationship, outside of the relationship with Lincoln, with everything going on, that's when our relationship began to heal. That's when things began to heal because I was healing. Because as I heal, we heal. As I heal, you heal. As you heal, I heal. As you heal, the whole planet heals. And that's the purpose, that's the point. So the whole idea is to stop blaming. Because when you're blaming, you're putting yourself as a victim. And we don't like to just blame our exes. We blame circumstances. We blame the world. We blame other people. We blame our parents. We blame everything. The whole idea is to step completely out of blame and to take full responsibility for your life because you are the creator of your reality and you've created everything. You've created everything up until now. You've played a part in it all. If your ex cheated on you, man or woman, if they cheated on you, well, what did you do or what weren't you doing that caused the cheating to happen? That's where you get to step in. That's where you get to take responsibility and that's where you get to step up. That's what you look for because you can only control you. Being a victim is no fun. Being a victim is not serving you at all. It's time to step up, step up, step out of the victim role. And that's what's up. That's what's going on. Stop being the victim, man. Because when I stop being the victim, and this is something I'm working on, continue to work on for the rest of my life, is taking more responsibility. When I stop being the victim, especially with my ex, and and even with my son, like blaming my son for so the sometimes burden that I sometimes feel, but blaming him for that feeling? No, that's me, man. That is all on me. That's all on me. That's me not coming to terms with this 
vision or this idea that I had for my life and accepting my reality for what it is. That's what's up. When I started taking responsibility and stopped blaming, fuck man, your life changed. My life changed completely on so many different levels because that's what happens. That's the truth is that you were just as responsible as she is. Everything that you're blaming her for is just a projection for how you feel and that's how you're showing up. That is all on you. If you think that someone is ugly, you're projecting your insecurities onto someone else. If you think someone fucked you over, it's because you probably fucked a lot of people over in the past and or still fucking people over like nobody's business. So step up and take responsibility for your goddamn life. And that's a message from a single dad. So much love guys, until I see you on the next video. If you have any comments around this, let me know. If you agree, if you disagree. This is a little bit of a heated message, but it's something I wanted to share because it's something that I see a lot of single dads, a lot of men do is just sit in victim mode. It's time to step up, man, and take responsibility for our lives and, and take our manhood back and really fucking lead as men no matter what that looks like. So let's do it. Peace, blessings, good love, let's go. It takes two people to tingle. It takes two people to dance. It's not just her, bro. It's you.